All right, so we've got a question that's asking about median as well as average. And whenever we have a question focused on average, I'm always thinking about the total instead of trying to manipulate the average because what is an average? An average is simply a sum total over the number of items that we added up. So for example, in this situation up top, we have one, two, three, four, five, six items. And while I don't know what X is, I know that it is the largest of these integers uh, or possibly not integers. I, I don't think it says in the, uh, in the question here that we're dealing with whole numbers, but the other, the other numbers are integers. And so looking at X, all I know about X is it's the largest number because the question states that they are listed in increasing order. If the median of these measures is six sevenths times the mean. So if the median is equal to six sevenths times the mean, which I prefer to call the average, then all I, all I really know is that the median is equal to six sevenths times the total sum of these numbers divided by six. And what you'll notice here is that the sixes cancel out, typically a good indication that you're doing your math right. And what I now have is that the median equals the sum over seven. But I don't know what the sum is. I do know, however, what the median is. And I've already drawn that out up here. So the median is going to be the average of the middle two numbers because whenever you have an evenly spaced set, or sorry, an even number of items in a set, you're going to have to average the middle two numbers to create the median. If it's an odd numbered set, there will be an odd man out in the middle, but in an even numbered set, like six numbers, you're gonna have two in the middle and you're gonna have to average them, meaning add them together and divide by two to get the median, which is seven. So I know the median is seven, which means I now know that seven equals the sum of these numbers over seven, which means the sum of the numbers is going to equal 49. And if I look at the numbers we have here, I can quickly do some math. I have nine plus six is 15 plus eight is 23, 33. So I have 33 plus X equals 49. And that means that X must equal 16. And it did turn out that X was an integer. And that means that our answer is A, 16. So whenever you have an average question, think about how many items am I dealing with? How many numbers are there? And the average is simply the, the total sum of all those numbers add together divided by the number of those items. It's always a lot easier to focus on the sum total than it is to manipulate the average.